set. Helicopter's good to go. Thanks, man. Mm. I think it's time we had a gathering. Enter and pass up through the gates to attain to the 32 paths of wisdom. I, but in reference to what? Hey, little star man. Are you ticklish, buddy? Max! Jesus, Max! I didn't see you there. Look, Max, I'm doing some, like, really heavy reading here, and your little toy robot is just not compatible with that type of soul journey, man, okay? Max, hot. Max, it's all right, pal. Look, this just is way too complicated for you. Why don't you go play with your pig or something? See, I'm trying to find the reference to these gates here, and... Ugh, you just would not understand. Max Hoss. Max, this is really advanced philosophical <laughs> literature here, okay? You can't just start pointing to... <laughs> Max, that's it! How did you... Need you in the helm, Wyatt. All right, y'all. We got some hell to raise. You got a boat full of noobs, and I got a target. Fucking good one, too. Woo! Right on, boss! Yeah, that's where it's at. That's cool, all right. I dig. Check it out. I sent Specie ahead to this hometown of Roswell, New Mexico, to prep for the mission. Now, there's a tunnel that's accessible through Specie's hideout that will take you straight into the Nazis' top secret underground base where they're experimenting with some sort of wigged out alien technology. That's well, New Mexico, you said? This is one of ours. What do you mean? One of yours? Yeah, wouldn't you like to know? So you can send coded messages back to your pals in Berlin? No. What the fuck is she even doing here? Grace, why she's good people? She's a fucking Nazi. On your boat. What were you saying, Pops? Hmm? Hmm. That secret base you were talking about was constructed by us. That's you. One of our biggest safe keeps. It was located here, underground, near what is now Roswell, New Mexico, but it, it existed for a thousand years, long before America got subjugated by the Europeans. It contained technology related to anti-gravity research, something that could easily turn the tide of war. We gave the U.S. government access to it. Unfortunately, it was too late. America fell. The Nazis took hold of our safekeeping. Shit. That's not gonna sit well with Speci. He had his bet on space aliens. He once saw a ship that crashed back there in 47. So what do you want with this place? Know what the Oberkommando is? Yeah, baby. That's where all those big shot jerks running the Nazi war machine hang out. Yeah, well, the Nazis moved it into your safe keep set. So whatever it is is so important that the whole upper echelon of the Nazi leadership left Berlin and set up shop in New Mexico. This is why you need this for. What on earth is that? This is a portable nuclear bomb. We're gonna take out the Oberkommando, cripple the Nazi leadership, and destabilize the fucking country and let the people know that the fight is back on. Blazkowicz, load up. I'm sending you to Roswell with this. Roswell is out of helicopter range, so we'll drop you off by the coast near Galveston. From there, you will catch a ride to Roswell. Rendezvous with Super Special at Papa Joe's All-American Diner and plant the nuke inside the very heart of the Ober Commando. Then, you blow that shit the fuck up. Okay, Blaskowitz, look for Papa Joe's All-American Diner. Meet Super Special inside the restaurant. Do not break cover. Americans, are you going to the concert tonight? 
Oh, Jeb here is. He's a, a big fan of DK for ain't you, Jeb? Well, the music makes me happy. What's wrong with that, Wayne? Ain't nothing wrong with that, Jeb. I like your style, Americans. Very good. You're part of the Reich now. Subject of the Great Führer. I hope for your sake you consider the Reich and all its glorious people your own. Yes, of course, sir. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let me give you some free advice. You are witnessing a new dawn for America. You have a choice in this new world, because the time will come when, how do you say, the wheat detaches from the chaff. Have you taken your German lessons? Oh, yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Good. You, how do you say thank you in German? Oh, of course, sir. Let me see. It's, um... Yes. Dank, dank. Yes, out with it. Dank, danky. My God! <laughs> was that all right? No, that was terrible. You're butchering my beautiful language. It's Danke schön, verdammt. Say it. Uh, Danke schön? Incorrect. Danke schön. Danke schön? I've heard enough. No more. I'm so sorry, sir. I'm still practicing. You will practice harder. Oh, I will, sir, and I am so sorry. You. You want to know a secret? Well, I won't tell you, because you're a fucking Nazi traitor. Uh-huh. But you I can trust. All those Nazi scum will die like boom! <laughs> fucking assholes. What are you looking at? Fucking Nazi love and scumbags. Chase them out of this town. No, no. Planet. Then they can all burn together on some far, far away hellhole. Beeindruckend. Wie bitte? Ich habe die Kerben an deinem Gewehrkolben gesehen. Ein beeindruckendes Ergebnis. Ha, das sind keine Abschüsse. Die sorgen dafür, dass das Gewehr mir nicht wegrutscht. Ich habe Probleme mit schwitzigen Händen. Ich krieg Ausschlag an den Füßen. Was sollen wir mit Wollsocken? Wir sind doch hier nicht in Bayern. Mir gefällt's hier. Kaltes Bier nach Dienstschluss und die Welt ist in Ordnung. Hey, ich lade dich heute Abend ein. Die haben nur diese winzigen Ami-Gläser. Aber wir können die Blumenvasen von der Fensterbank nehmen. <lacht> Abgemacht. You look familiar. Meine Liebe, you know how beautiful you are. <lacht> Stop it, you. Ich liebe dich, Alison. Ich liebe dich. Otto. Hey, mister, want to buy a newspaper? I got today's news for you right here, mister. Only one Reichsmark. Say, mister, you look familiar to me. Are you some kind of celebrity? Mister, you... God, if you are who I think you are, I just want you to know I am behind you all the way. Look at you people, celebrating your own destruction. Just listen to that 
lovely marching beat. I'm so happy you Germans brought some culture to this country. Kamerad ne Nadner? Did I pronounce that right? You really must correct me if I didn't. Oh, d just a, a bit more practice, Father and Edla, and you will pass the test on changeover day with the highest marks. I just couldn't stand all that primitive jungle music they used to play. Jazz and rock and roll. Quite ver... ver Schrecklich, <laughs> like you would say, right? <laughs> yes, good, Fräulein Edla. You know, I see great potential in you. Your attitude is impeccable. <laughs> you flatter me, Captain. You are a lady deserving of flattery, Fräulein. <laughs> oh, stop. But I wonder one thing, Captain. Tell me. Why do you tolerate that awful band, De Kaffer? Those boys are Englishmen pretending to be German. I even stopped listening to Mozart when I heard he's not German at all, but some kind of impure Austrian. Now, Beethoven, <laughs> that is... Fräulein Edwin. May I remind you that the Führer himself is Austrian by birth? And so is my grandmother. Oh, oh, oh I'm very sorry. I didn't mean to... To insult the Führer like that is... It, it's outrageous. I really didn't mean to... Be quiet, Fräulein. Your name will be reported to my superiors. Oh, please, please, no! You will be carefully monitored from now on. Do not step out of line again, or you will face grave consequences. Do you understand? Yes, sir, I... Quiet! I've caught my slave red-handed red trying to steal from me the other day. That's terrible. What did he steal? Food, most. Bread, potatoes, and bell peppers. You believe that crap? Susan was going to serve it for dinner, and the kids were all upset. Oh, man. Having hoodlums in your own house would upset anyone. How'd you punish them? Standard procedure. I called it in. Secret police took him and his family away. They'll end up in the New Orleans ghetto, I reckon. No, Jesus. How do these people even survive in there? Government ought to just burn the whole city to the ground and be done with it. Yeah, better not worry about it. Hey, we got a parade to watch. Well, you bet. <laughs> on a date yet, but soon. You're invited, of course, Auntie. Oh, that's nice, dear. Give my regards to your father when you return to the farm. Oh, and tell him I'm putting some hard-working slaves up for auction this week if he's interested. There'll be cocktails. I'll tell him, Auntie. Bye-bye now. <laughs> Bye-bye, dear. Okay, who would it be? I would like the chicken salad to go. Uh, no cheese, no onions, no dressing. Is there noodles in that? Uh, yes, but we could make it without. That's better. Yes, that would be great. Oh, and a piece of pie as well. Certainly. You can uh, take a seat down by the counter and I'll prepare you food. If you excuse me. Uh, it would be great if it could be fast. I'm in a bit of a hurry. Sweet. Papa Joe's All-American Diner. My kind of dive. I took Mary Jane to see his Riefenstahl movie last night. Gee whiz, what a swell movie. The Fuhrer sure cleaned up Hollywood from all that depraved filth they show in the cinema. <laughs> now, it's much more wholesome. And what a hoot of a movie. You're in for a real treat. What is taking them so long? Why don't they open? Say, why don't we come again on Saturday? We'll make it a double date. You bring Mary Jane, and I'll bring Mandy. Uh, next weekend, maybe. I'm taking German classes at the library this weekend. No, so good. Tom 
don't mind me, folks. Just strolling around with my nuke. Was hast du heute gelernt, Peter? I don't know. Stuff? Practice your German, dear. You will need it. Was denn für Sachen? Das der Führer ist ein großer Autor und Maler. <laughs> Sehr gut, mein Junger. Bobby told me that the Führer painted the Mona Lisa. And that he made the atom bomb. And then he put my head in the toilet and flushed it. That's awful. Someone should teach young Bobby some manners. You can bet you're behind his mother won't do it. I want you to promise me you'll stay away from him. Are you listening to me, Peter? Now, pick something from the menu. Oh, I wish the secret police hadn't taken away the help. When will he ever get home cooked meals again? Mom, can I have the chili? Sure can. Yes. If we ever get service in this godforsaken place. Hold your horses. Oh, hello there, sir. Please have a seat at the counter. I'll be right with you. Ma'am, what'll it be? We're about to close, unfortunately. Oh, it's to go. We'll be quick. Let's see. Uh, I'll have the... Blazkowicz, Speshy knows you're coming to attack the Overcommando, but he has no idea you bring in a damn atom bomb. You gotta break him the news. Hello? Hello? Come on, Peter, let's go someplace else. But, Mom, no we have butts! Oh! Peter Schön. Danke. Well, good day, ma'am. You, one strawberry milkshake, please. Oh, I hope you don't have a fire back there to put out. If so, I'll come back another time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure the fire can wait, Commandant. One strawberry milkshake coming right up. Fireman, I recognize your face. Very Aryan face it is, too. Are you out of Station One? There you go, Commandant. Oh, vielen Dank. Hmm. <laughs> Now you, show me your identification papers, please. Oh. I love strawberry milkshake. It's perhaps my favorite American thing. 
<laughs> so simple. Just milk and ice cream. The rest of the menu, however, I think you will need to address. I think it needs to be more German. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me, are you from here, John Smith? Huh? I read here that you operate out of Station 6. What is the location of Station 6? I'm, I'm unfamiliar with this station. Speak up. Commandant, Sie werden vom Oberkommando verlangt. War das nicht Zeit? Trink gerade noch meine Erdbeermilch. Leider nicht, Commandant. Das Oberkommando verlangt, Sie umgehend zu sehen. In Ordnung, ich, ich komme schon. Mm. 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 Mein Gott. Oh mein Gott, das bist du. Das bist du! Blast, we shut the fucking front door! Before any more goddamn Nazis show for milkshakes! Not that I don't trust you, Blasquitz, but there's nothing saying you couldn't be wearing a mask made to look like William J. Blasquitz to hide your alien space lizard facial traits. So, I mean the pass where the Grace gave you. She didn't give me one. Right. Off with the mask. Show me your lizard face, motherfucker. Super special. Lower your weapon before I break your arm and put your lights out. I knew it was you, Terror Billy. I was just fucking with you. Come follow me. So, um, welcome to Mission Control. It's, I haven't had much of a chance to clean up around here. I'm, I'm sorry about that. It's, um, good stuff, this shit right here. It keeps the signals from getting through. Very effective against alien mind-reading devices. How's Grace? Good. Baby Abby? Fine as cream gravy. Christ, I miss her. Even the pissing in the face part, you know. I mean, maybe, maybe I miss that the most. <laughs> Little fucker. <laughs> so what have you been doing down here, Super Special? This place? My papa and me used this place to collect all the evidence we could find of the government cover-up. Cookie? Oh. It's been, been more than a decade now. Uh, summer of 47. I was the same year I quit working as a lawyer. In the year I joined the Black Revolutionary Front, after I got Grace acquitted from that murder charge that the goddamn FBI pigs trumped up against her. Anyway, one night, Papa heard something on the police frequency, and he brought me up north to Murphy's Ranch, where we found this flying saucer-like thing that crashed into the ground. And wouldn't you know it, the U.S. motherfucking military swooped in and quarantined off the entire Peru. Gave us some kind of bullshit story about a weather balloon. <laughs> they were lying out of their asses, because we made off with some actual hard evidence. Here, take a look at this. Ah! Pulled that baby right out of the crash site. Now, does that look like something that came off a weather balloon? This place is where we kept the records and started surveilling what the military is up to. Papa built most of it. So you reckon what you saw was a spaceship? I'm, I'm not saying it's a flying saucer from outer space, but it was clearly extraterrestrial in origin, if you catch my drift. It's all fucking connected, man. If you trace the chain of causation, you find yourself in a secret underground facility about 10 clicks east of Roswell, up by Bottomless Lakes, Area 52. Our government captured an alien flying saucer, and they stored the salvaged bodies and technology in an underground vault. Everyone was involved. The FBI pigs, the military pigs, even the goddamn King President Pig himself. Check this shit out. Area 52, Area 51, over here, Area 48, Area 56, all over the Southwest. Nevada, New Mexico. It's one gigantic complex, and it's connected by underground train tunnels. <laughs> look, look, look at the pictures. Plasma guns, mind control, anti-gravity engines. And after 
our coward ass government surrendered to the fucking Nazi pigs, our new masters took over all these bases and they kept doing their own experiments to, to further their own fascist agenda. Look at this. This whole thing is the Area 52 military compound. Up here, it's the, the Nazi head honchos installed the fucking Oberkommando. But down here below, it's a cavernous vault full of all kinds of weird ass technology, alien shit. It's, it's all down there. Now, I haven't seen it myself, but it's there. Well, whatever it is, it, 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 it ain't Martian. No, okay, all right, all right, all right. We, nobody knows for sure exactly what kind of technology we're dealing with, but it's most likely space alien based. It ain't space aliens. I talked. How the fuck do you know? Are you, are you are you some kind of expert on all things extraterrestrial now? Look, I've been a lawyer a long fucking time, and I know a motherfucking conspiracy when I see one. No, okay, I'm not saying it's space aliens, right? But it goes without saying it's fucking space aliens. So I got a nuke in this here fire extinguisher. Okay. Cool it. I did not mean to rile you. Grace told me that you know a way into the Oberkommando. You get me in there, I will use this nuke to blow the top brass of the Nazi leadership to smithereens. Yes! Yes, of course! That sounds so good. I'm here to help. Papa dug these tunnels to the underground train system that connects all the top secret military bases. This tunnel goes right to Area 52 Cargo Train Loading Depot. All right. Now, you should put that nuke in uh, this backpack to keep your hands free for shooting. All right. Lots of Nazis down there. And other things. Now, I'll keep in touch on the radio. Help you out. Hey, stay frosty, Blaskowitz. Keep going down that tunnel, and you'll end up at the Area 52 cargo train loading depot. Fastest way to Area 52 will be to hitch a ride on one of those cargo trains. Caroline, you still copy? You think they can see I'm fading? Without your wings, I would fall. Oh, what the hell? They got rocket trains now? Tätig, Karl. Denen fehlt die moralische Richtschnur. Wir sind doch auch Menschen. Gewalt führt nur zu noch mehr Gewalt. Das stimmt, Karl. Gewalt ist niemals in Ordnung. Niemals. Was für eine Gesellschaft wäre das, wenn ich jeden töten würde, der meine Ansicht nicht teilt? Ein Kriegsgebiet, Karl. Das wäre ein Kriegsgebiet. Zum Kotzen. Übrigens hast du dich für New Orleans beworben. Na klar. Und du? Auf jeden Fall. Vielleicht sind wir in einer Todesschwadron. Hoffentlich. Wir arbeiten doch gut zusammen, oder? Ja.
eines jeden Kommandanten.
Ganz voll. Ihr Kragenmann. Ich wurde eiligst entsandt und Sie hatten keine Jacke in meiner Größe. Wenn ich die zuknüpfe, laufe ich blau an. Aber die Regeln der Armee sollten also an Ihre Vorlieben angepasst werden, wohnen. Vielleicht sollten Sie darüber nachdenken, wenn Sie im Arrest sitzen oder die Latrinentanks putzen. Ich bin Professor für Atomphysik. Ich war niemals Soldat. Kommandant Brachmann hat mir einen Offiziersrang verliehen, weil Zivilisten im Oberkommando keinen Zutritt haben. Er sagte, das wäre reine Formsache. Ach, Sie wollen eine Sonderbahn? Sie können sich gerne als besser und intelligenter betrachten, aber Sie werden sich an die Vorschriften halten. Ihr Ungehorsam bedroht die Moral all jener, die an dieser Operation beteiligt sind. Gut. Stellen wir uns vor, ich befolge Ihren Befehl. Ich wurde hergeschickt, weil ich als Einziger die derzeitigen Probleme mit unserer Reaktorkühlung verstehe. Wenn ich umkippe, meine Zeit mit Latrintanks verbringe oder Sie mich weiter von meinen Pflichten abhalten, Sterben wir alle wegen einer Kernschmelze, die mich, Sie und all die beeindruckenden Medaillen an Ihrer Brust vernichten wird. Wäre das nicht auch durchaus schädlich für die Moral? Wegtreten! Jawohl, Herr Kommandant. in your pipe and smoke it.
You need to shove that nuke right up in their filthy Nazi nerve center. The Oberkommando is situated at ground level directly above the cavernous vault with all that alien shit inside. You gotta haul your ass on up there, baby. You should safe keep set was talking about. So, you want the Nazis to leave the warhead alone once you planted it, right? Well, what you gotta do is place it in the Oberkommando's nuclear reactor. That way, the Nazis won't be able to track its radiation signature. They won't find it, they won't disarm it.
I am arming the warhead now. You may want to bug out of Roswell before this thing goes boom. Far out, brother. Far out. I have my guy at City Hall sound the tornado alarm, evacuate the whole town. Now look for an exit and get the hell out of the blast zone. I'm almost done clearing out mission control. Meet you at the rendezvous by Galveston. Done deal.
Run. Mein Anzug ist rot und schwarz 